Today we open never before seen Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today Orica Shop has sent us more epic Orica cards and we also are going to be opening Ghosts from the Past because in two weeks Ghosts from the Past 2 comes out so we need to start off by opening a Dark Magician Ghost Rare. I will be giving away all of the Orica cards that you see in this video. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card that you see in the video. We're going to start off with a Ghost from the Past pack. Let's see if we can pull a Ghost Rare to start off this video very nicely. I'm down. Let's do it. Ghost Rare, Time Thief Startup. I'm so excited about Ghosts from the Past 2. Let me know in the comments how excited you are if you're ready if you've bought some already and let's go for ghost no that slows the mega monarch that's all right because we have more stuff coming we have a mat this thing looks amazing let me get it out of the packaging and yes this mat will be included in the giveaway so just make sure you enter that one because this is a pretty insane mat i mean look at it red eyes black dragon this should have been with the Le legend of red eyes packs all right very nice all right very cool mat to start it off so far just a thessalos the mega monarch not the guy we're looking for let's go we have a hieratic seal resonator engine We've got the uh, Hieratic Seal of Convection, the Medulce Predencessor, and the Star Knight Ceremony. I don't know what I was saying there. Let's go into another one. Before we get into these anime or Orca, not anime. I, mean, I guess they're kind of anime cards, but Orca cards. That was coming up right after this pack. When we pull the Ghost right here we go. Thessalos again. All right, Thessalos really wants to be here. We also have some very sick sleeves. That is pretty amazing. So this will also be part of the giveaway. So make sure you guys enter that one. Oh, man, there's some really cool stuff in here. First, we're going to start off with... Ooh, a Cyber Dragon. There is an anime card, an anime Orca card. So Orca basically means fake or uh, fan made or stuff like that. So these are not official cards, obviously, if you did not know from just looking at them, but they are very cool looking and awesome to collect. So if you guys are interested in those, you can go check them out. Or if you just want to win them in the giveaway for free, make sure you enter that. If you guys are interested in anything you see in this video, go check out OracaShop.com and use code RUXIN34 for 20% off your order. And let's get back to the video. Okay, next pack. Very cool. Orca cards. Let's see if we can get something amazing. Every time we've opened these, they've sent us something really, really cool. So hopefully that'll happen again. We've got the Metafoles. We already see one of them. I can't. I won't reveal it yet, though. The Time Thief Winder and Helshadal Hollow. Well, we have not pulled a Ghost Rider Ghost from the Past in a very long time. Which, to be fair, was the thing that people hated about Ghost from the Past the most. It was so hard to pull them. And the next card. Oh, another Cyber Dragon. So we got a whole deck going here. We got two Cyber Dragons right off the bat. I mean, that is a very beautiful looking card. The hollow shines it very nicely. Now we're about to find another card that shines very nicely. The Dark Magician Ghost Rare or just one, any Ghost Rare at all. There's five different Ghost Rares in the set. I take any of them. We got the Handmaiden, the Fairy Tales and the Dragoonity Amrogram. Armagram, that's different. All right, next card, a play set of Cyber Dragon. So it looks like we are playing in a Zane Truesdale deck. Cyber Dragon, that looks very awesome. That looks very awesome. Very nice. I'm liking these so far. They're very pretty. Let's see what else we can get. Can we actually get something? It's, it's like a pack battle between fake cards and real cards. So far, the fake cards are winning. <laughs> Ninja Thunderbird and the Time Thief Adjuster. We finally got a decent card. That is pretty good for the real card side. Next card up, we have cyber and dragon i think we went from the wrong side because that's probably the ending of like the good cards i don't know i could be wrong we're gonna find out when we go through because there's a field center right there i can't open this pack there we go let's see what we can do we've got the metaphors counter miracle synchro we got the chateau we got the falco and oh i thought it could have been that bls could have been it okay next we have a field center so that doesn't really count for oh wait Never mind. This does count because that is very cool. We got a Jaden. Very nice. Elemental hero. Let's go to another one. The next one we have is Sky Striker Ace Rose. Very cool. All right. We got a Rose. The alternate artwork. Very cool. Next pack. Ghost from the past. Let's see what we can pull. Can we pull a Ghost Rare Royal Prison? All right. Backup Secretary. All right, Secretary. We got the Gold Driver. Time Thief Flyback is going to fly back and grab us a Ghost Rare from the last time we pulled one. And it is a Time Thief Double Barrel. Decent card, but nothing too crazy. All right. We have, oh, a Blue Eyes White Dragon. The SDK DDS, whatever you want to call it. The original artwork. This is beautiful. I like that blue background with it. Very looks... Looks very nice, I should say. I think that's the normal background. They just extended it to the full art style. Very cool. That is one of the best looking ones I've ever seen. All right, next one is, and now we've done it with the Dark Magician. I think the Blue Eyes looks better, to be honest. And what do you guys think? Blue Eyes or Dark Magician? Let me know in the comments. Put your votes down. Which one looks better in the Orica card? And that looks pretty good, Dark Magician too, though. So I'm not gonna say much. Next pack, we have another Ghost from the Past. What can we pull? It is Itelli. That's a great card. It came off the ban or the uh, limited list. Okay, we got the Sunseed. 
the Sunvine Gardener, and the Arm Dragon level 10. This guy got so many prints in the span of a couple of months. Now he's worth nothing. <laughs> Next worker card, we have the Baron de Fleur. Very nice card. That card is insane. Very strong synchro card. And then finally, we end it with the sky striker ace rose back at it again all right and that's not the end by the way there's there's another pack i said end it with because that was one of the packs okay so far some pretty amazing stuff let's see what we can pull here we have laval volcano we got the fairy fair fans we got the blast we got the atom and starry night sky it's not a bad card but uh it looks pretty starry night sky there's a big time one at the end that i'm saving for you guys it's probably the coolest looking card for sure the next reveal is drytron nova spell card that's beautiful yeah that's you know everyone hates drytron though so maybe it's not that beautiful but it's still really cool let's go to the next pack and let's see what we can pull so far the pulls have been terrible this is why people didn't like ghosts from the past you open it up and you never get anything a cosmo tin can opening those ghosts is pretty exciting though thief hack and starry night sky back at it again with that beautiful sky okay the next card is number f0 utopic draco future this is a very strong card in Yu Gi Oh. okay just a strong card not very nostalgic i mean it's it's an old school card it's not an old school card or anything but it's pretty cool now let's see if we can get an old school nostalgic card. Hey, there we go. The Helopolis. We pulled this as a secret rare in its original print out of Galactic Overlord the other day. We got the Hieratic Self Banishment, Arc Brave Dragon, the Metaphor Oricalco, and the Sunvine Thrasher. Very cool. Oh, looks like we got another Baron. All right. Another Baron to floor. Very cool. Very nice. So double Baron. We got triple Cyber Dragon. That's pretty sick. So far, Cyber Dragon and the Blue Eyes are my favorite. Those look really nice. Fog Blade. That's a good card. Gigantis. The Gear Town. Mine mole and Dragoonity Remus. I, every time I see this, it's like, oh, this is a good card. And then it's like, oh, they kind of tanked down to like $3. It was $20 on release. Unfortunately, not anymore. Now we have all oh, this card. Talk about expensive cards. Aluber, the Jester of Despia. Yeah, too bad you can't play this in your deck. It'd be a little bit cheaper. I think they're like over $100 again, even with the reprint coming out in Ghost from the Past too. So it fits well with our Ghost from the Past theme because we're going to be pulling a couple of those in the next couple weeks. And hopefully that will, you know get some of our money back pulling those cards so let's see what we can do we have danger thunderbird we've got a metaphors counter miracle synchro fusion the medulce chateau and i'm thief double barrel back at it again okay we've seen that guy a few times not the droid we're looking for the next is flu under reason impin now this was kind of a popular deck at the YCS, I believe. The Fluenderies, very cool. Uh, I don't think a lot of people like it though. I think it's <laughs> not big fans of the of the deck, but oh well. We we got the uh, the <laughs> the impin. What's the really bad one? The the snow. That's the one I always pull out of. Uh, what is that? What is that set called? Brothers? No, Br Burst of Destiny. There we go. Salvage. We got the uh, Bazel ship. We got the retrograde and. Arm Dragon level 10. Back at it again. He just can't leave us alone. Then we have, oh, here's an epic card. Destiny Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix, Enforcer. This is a really cool looking one for sure. Nice extended artwork on that one. I really like it. All right, we are down to the last few packs and the last few cards, but there's some pretty good ones coming up in terms of uh, the one that I know. Dryas, we got the XC's Burst. We got the Update Jammer. We got the Heos and Root. And Starry Knight Rael. The Rael, okay. Rael's cool. Um, now we have Evil Hero Adjusted Gold. This is a card that is played at one, I think. So it's, it was really crazy expensive. Then it got that Brothers of Legend reprint. Now it's down at like 10 bucks or whatever, but very nice looking card. Very nice. I like how the foil's just on him. It looks really cool. There's another good one. Still, I think three, three packs and three or four custom cards. We got the Danger Thunderbird, Metaphors Counter, the Miracle Synchro Fusion, and, and, and thought this might be the crystal wing i was like synchro synchro no not it okay instead we're gonna get the incredible ecclesia the virtuous this is a very good one yeah this is just a ton of epic medic cards right now which is always cool not as much nostalgia on this one though which is you know our bread and butter here we go time thief perpetua We've got the Perpetch, we got the Super Massy, we got the Astel, the Maiden, the Time Thief Adjuster. Is that the third one? Is that the third one in this opening? That's kind of crazy. Next, we have the Sword Soul Moyi. Yeah, Sword Souls were very popular for a while. Still pretty good, I think, in the meta. Very cool looking card. That's a big card in that set as well. I think those are all Burst of Destiny cards, actually, now that I think about it. All right, Burst of Destiny, coming at it. All right, Cosmojo. We got the Sunshi Gen Genius. We got the Galaxy Eye Cypher Blade Dragon. The Metaphors Metherium. And Red Supernova Dragon. Another big one. Originally, I think it fell down, but it's still a couple of bucks. We're down to the last two custom cards. Here is 
The Sword Soul Grandmaster Chiao. I don't know how to say that, but I think that that card's pretty good as well. We still have one amazing custom card and one more pack to see. What can we finish this off with? I know the last custom card is insane, but uh, I don't know what's in this pack. Hopefully it's also insane. We have Tackle Crusader and those uh, magnet decks. Buster Dragon. Mist Valley Baby Rock. The Monarchs Erupt and... Dragoonity like it is not a bad card. Okay, it's not a bad card at all. It's not crazy valuable, but it is worth something. And here is where we finish this video. A crazy golden card. If you guys remember, we opened some golden cards before. You guys can go check out that older video. Very old at this point. We opened some golden cards. I think it was the God cards. This one is even more of a fan favorite than the God cards. Put your guesses down below what you think it is. Here we go. Dark Magician Girl Golden Card. So there's a good chance this was in the thumbnail. So you guys might already know because this just looks too cool to not put in the thumbnail. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like we got to put it in there because this is just an amazing looking card. These gold cards are really awesome. They're so heavy, which is, I mean, you just expect it. It's golden. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stonefish Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Daxter, Amos, Junior Barding, Anana Tai Show, JT Show, and David FJ. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.